Hello. This last year, humanity in general and particular uh, has been entrapped, perhaps I could say, in our experiences. And that entrapment has caused us to sort of shrink our consciousness and shrink our sense of self and our world down into a place that's fairly dangerous. And uh, it's, it's uh, caused us to think small. And I would like to talk about the opposite of thinking small and, and experiencing ourselves in fearful ways and without a sense of uh, the, the power of our own destiny. I would like to talk about the power of envisioning. As we come into this next year, 2021, I feel it is very important for us to practice to to amplify and to perhaps polish or master the art of envisioning, which means that we are able to hold in our consciousness not this that has been happening, but what is the highest octave of any experience, of any situation, so that we could come to a place where, where we begin to recognize that we could manifest through our consciousness a new world. We must be able to envision not only the light at the end of the tunnel, but the light that is shining right now on our potential. That you and I are here, and that is not that we are here to suffer. It is that we are here to create new potential. And so I would like to do an exercise in consciousness uh, with you that could activate and stimulate uh, your awareness of your power to envision, to envision a healthy body, to envision um, uh, abundance coming to you, to envision a beautiful, a beautiful nature, a safe world, whatever would be important to you. Uh, and you could envision all those at once right now as we do this exercise, or you could continually do this exercise in consciousness that will help you to really sense yourself as a person who can hold a powerful vision and bring it into form. Because that must be why we're here. We are here not to suffer this, but because we have the wisdom from our many incarnations of the soul to find purpose in our lives uh, in so many different ways arenas in different ways. It might be just the smile that you send or a beam of light that you send to someone else. There are infinite ways in which we can feel the power to envision uh, a new way to live individually and collectively. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath into your body because it's through the body that these things come. Ask your body where it holds the power to envision, the power of illumination, the power to see the hologram, to see the way through, and, and what is awaiting us that we could bring to us now. So it might be a place in your body, you might hear it or see it or feel it. Where do you hold that power to envision? Bring your conscious awareness into that place in your body and imagine that you could enter in there and you could feel the light and the sparkles or the, or the consciousness there, the wisdom there. And imagine that you prick that encapsulation open so that that envisioning power begins to flow through the trillions of cells of your body. And as it flows through you, you begin to feel as if your consciousness is ignited, that you could have awakenings, you could have all these aha moments, you could find answers and feel the power of manifesting, of choosing something new. Just imagine that that envisioning energy is flowing through you now and awakening inside you, that it's coming to you now. And then take a deep breath into your body and imagine that you're radiating out. Mandate that that energy flows out from your body through your auric field, your electromagnetic 
field, out into the world, so that you could imagine that you are extending into the world, transmitting into the world that power to envision what serves us all and will take us into a bright, illuminated way of life on planet Earth. Radiate it out. Take a deep breath into your body and open your eyes. I hope that you will do that again and again, even before this next year, 2021, so that we are already ahead of this new year and bringing the light of our wisdom and our potential into play. Great love.